Hey, what's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're looking at the last part of the scenario question series and it's, it was a three part series and it deals with the same scenario and we're looking at different ways to filter data down. In the previous videos we looked at bringing in the table into the Power Query Editor and applying a filter step and we're dealing with an extremely large table over 100 million records and so that is not ideal to load all of that data and then filter it down. In the second video we dealt with bringing that data in and using the filter function in DAX to filter that data down. Once again we're having to load all of that data into the Power BI desktop first and then filtering it down so that's not ideal for when we're dealing with a large data set. So today is the third question dealing with the same scenario. Let's go ahead and get started. Once again, the note here at the top just says that this is a series of questions that presents the same scenario and our question is down here at the bottom. The question says you are modeling data by using Microsoft Power BI. Part of the data model is a large Microsoft SQL Server table named order. An order has more than 100 million records. During the development process, you need to import a sample of the data from the order table. And down here at the bottom, as we looked at before, is the solution for this third and final part of the series of questions. So, as always, let's just point out some of the key indicators here. So, we're dealing with more than 100 million records as a large set of data. And it also says that we need to import a sample of the data. So we're dealing with importing the data. And the last important piece here is that we're dealing with a SQL Server table. Now, as we talked about in previous videos, but just in case you haven't watched them, I'm gonna recap. When you're dealing with a SQL Server table, you can write a SQL script. And some of the benefits of writing a SQL script is that you can limit the columns that you're going to return inside of the Power Query Editor. So you can state specific columns that you want. But the best way to limit when dealing with a large table, especially one that's on a SQL Server, is using a WHERE clause. So a WHERE clause is going to allow you to limit data based on specific criteria. And so when we're dealing with SQL Server and other databases, typically it's going to allow you to write a SQL script against a specific table. And with that, we are allowed to implement a WHERE clause. So the WHERE clause is going to allow us to limit the data based on specific criteria effectively reducing the size of our data that we're bringing into the Power Query Editor. So the solution here says we add a WHERE clause to the SQL statement. This is by far the most efficient and a best practice when we're dealing with a large amount of data such as more than 100 million records. And so the correct answer would be yes, this does meet the goal. It is the most efficient and it is a best practice. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.